I got a question about how to determine the uh, rate law for a reaction given the experimental data. And so I kind of wanted to just go through an example problem. Uh, taking this from Barron's MCAT, uh, a book for studying for the MCAT. And uh, the rate or the equation is H2O2 plus uh, 3 plus 3 I. Well, let's start this over. It's H2O2 plus 3i uh, iodide ion, I negative, I negative, plus two hydrogen ions, H plus, yields I3 negative plus two H2O. And so what we have from our experimental data is the concentration, starting concentration for each of my reactants and the initial rate at which they reacted when those concentrations were mixed. And so the way you determine the reaction rate law is uh, you, you say that the, the rate is equal to K times, we're going to call H2O2, we'll call this A, we'll call this B, we'll call this C. So it's equal to K times A to the M times B to the N times C to the, we'll call that O. And actually I don't like O because it looks too much like zero, so we'll make it a P. So how do I determine what M, N, and P are? The way you do that is you look at your initial concentration and you find a place where it has doubled but the other two have remained constant. So H2O2 doubles here to point uh, one, and these two have remained constant. But look, my reaction rate went up fourfold. So you take your final concentration, so the final concentration divided by the initial concentration, so it's 10.1 divided by 0 0.05, and that's going to be equal to, and then you take your, your final rate divided by your initial rate, so that's 4.4 divided by 1.1, both of them times 10 to the negative 2, so that's going to equal 4. So the, what you do to solve for m is you say that 2 to the m equals 4, and you solve for m. And you can do that just by doing log base 2 of 4, and that will give you m. It should equal 2, so m equals 2. So in this reaction, my reaction rate, k times a squared. Now this, again, this only works if all of the other reactants remain constant, because if the other reactants remain constant, the only thing that's affecting the rate would be what's changing. And then we got right here, so when iodide ion, iodide ion goes from 10, uh, 0.1 to 0.2, everything else remains the same, uh, the rate doubles. So we would actually, we would get a, a ratio of 2 equals, 2 to the m equals 2, is what we'd find out with, uh, end up with. So basically, final concentration over initial concentration is equal to two, and final reaction rate over initial reaction rate would equal two. And so we'd say two to the m or two to the n equals two. So n has to equal one. So this this would be a squared b to the first power, which is b. So we don't have to put anything. And now in the last part of it, the hydrogen ion, whenever it doubles to, from 0.5 to, point, to 1.0, everything else remains the initial concentration. The reaction rate stays the same. So what you get in there is your, your final concentration over your initial concentration will equal 2. So 2 to the P is going to equal 1. The only exponent that can get you a 1 from any number is 0. So this P is 0, and that drops C out of the rate equation. So literally, your rate is equal to K times A squared times B. So this reaction is second order with respect to A and first order with respect to B.